If you've purchased our vertical complete system, it will come in plain brown boxes. Be sure when opening the system, you're careful not to cut into the box damaging the tent. You'll want to lay out the poles and make sure all parts are accounted for. The large vertical system complete comes with light reflector, two ballasts of your choice, two bulbs of your choice, rockwool slabs if you've ordered the 70 plant system it will come with 14 rockwool slabs if you've ordered the 140 plant vertical system it will come with 28 slabs carbon filter and fan hydrometer thermometer 4 inch and 6 inch ducting pump fan for circulation 6 inch centrifuge fan for cooling of the light irrigation supplies reservoir, reflector cords, two of them, wheels, poles, the grow room tent, zip ties, HVAC silver tape. First, you want to put the frame of the grow room tent together. The semicircle stabilizing brackets will need to be adhered to the side of the tent, as shown in the video. After the brackets are firmly secured, you'll want to adhere the drain tray by simply clamping it to our stabilizing bracket. Next, we'll want to connect the feed line, which comes from the pump and eventually goes to the Rockwell slabs. The system comes with pretty good instructions, but the video will give you a good visual of how to assemble the irrigation assembly.
Next, we will want to clamp our Rockwell support hangers. Next, we will want to clamp our pump and pre-filter assembly. You'll notice that the red on-off valve will allow for easy cleaning and draining of the reservoir. Affix the rock wool slabs on the support hangers. Be sure to insert the drip stakes on top of the slabs. And be sure to cut the top and bottom of the slabs, allowing water to drain as well as enter the slab. You can adjust each emitter by twisting the control cap. This will increase or decrease the amount of water the slab receives.
The grow room tents have adequate ventilation, cord holes, and duct holes for your carbon filter and the ducting of your air-cooled light. Wheels are included so that you can move the vertical grow room. Also, if you've purchased the 140 plant grow room, this will allow for the two halves to open and close easily. The bottom insert of the grow room will help to prevent leaks and increase overall floor durability. Your lower support crossbars are where the reservoir will sit. If you desire, you can also assemble so that the reservoir sits outside the tent. We do recommend the reservoir be placed outside the tent if you are running 600 or 1000 watt lights. This will help to decrease the water temperature. You'll notice that you'll want to place the top support bars for the hanging of the light carbon filter and fan, as well as your six inch centrifugal fan for cooling of the light. Carbon filter does three things and we consider it to be the respiratory system of our grow room. We recommend these for every indoor growing environment. One, the carbon filter and fan create an air exchange. Air is pulled through the carbon filter and out of the tent. Fresh air is then pulled in through the bottom vents. Two, it will decrease heat as the heat created by the grow bulbs naturally rises it will be forced out of the tent and the fresh air being pulled in through the bottom is not only fresh air which has fresh CO2 for the plants but is also cool air Remember, the air on the ground is often five degrees cooler than the air at head height. Thirdly, the carbon filter and fan combo will allow deodorizing and killing of mold spores. The pre-filter will clear the air of dirt particles while the carbon will deodorize and kill mold spores, pathogens, and pythiums. When your carbon filter reaches 20% of its original weight, it will be time to replace it. Installing the 6 inch fan for cooling of the lights is much like the carbon filter fan combo. 
can be done using zip ties provided in the kit. Remember, the cooler your light is, the closer your plants will be able to grow towards the light without burning. Ideally, we want to keep the temperature between 70 degrees and 80 degrees. When you connect your ducting to the light cylinder, be sure to leave additional ducting so that you can move your light if need be. Connecting your light cord to the reflector is very easy. Be sure to use wire nuts or electrical locks followed by electrical tape. The wires will need to be connected white to white, green to green, and black to black. If you're uncomfortable with this procedure, please call a certified electrician. Planting your seedlings or clones is easy. We recommend that you plant four to six plants per rock wool slab. Make sure that the slits are deep enough so that each cube is receiving plenty of water. Attach the socket in the light cylinder, as shown. Attach the support bracket, which will hang your light. This bracket also allows you to move the light for maintenance and pruning. The kit comes with magnetic ballast of your choice. The viable ballast will operate on both 120 and 240 volt. The 400 watt and the 1000 watt are switchable to accommodate both metal halide and HPS bulbs. Upgrading to the electronic ballast are also available in the drop down menu or by contacting your sales rep. The multi pin timers are easy to set. The red button on the side when in the up position, the automatic position, which will allow you to operate your light according to how you've set it. If the red button is in the lower position, it will allow you to override the pins keeping the light on at all times. Remember that the timer controls both outlets. Each pin represents 15 minutes and when placed in the down position by depressing, this will be on time. If you're operating a 1000 or 600 watt light, we recommend that you have one timer for each ballast or light. The six inch mini clip fan provides internal circulation. This will help promote a healthy environment for the plants.
The hydrometer thermometer can be mounted inside the tent or outside the tent. If you mount it outside the tent, be sure that the sensor is inside the tent for accurate temperature and humidity readings. This hydrometer thermometer also has min-max settings so you can monitor the temperature while you are gone. Here we are connecting the bottom 6 inch ducting to the air cylinder which will bring in fresh air from the ground or cool air and move it through the air cylinder and then out the top of the tent. Ideally when we duct our 4 inch and 6 inch non-insulated ducting, we would like to duct the air outside of our growing environment. This way we have fresh air being pulled in from the bottom and the heat from our light is not increasing the surrounding temperature of the tent. You can see on the front of the tent there is a viewing window which allows you to check on your plants, check the temperature without unzipping the front of the tent. Here we are putting the two halves together. Notice if you have purchased the complete 240 plant vertical Viagro system, there is no need for the reflector shield on the light cylinder, as the light will be needed for both sides of the grow room. The irrigation drippers are adjustable and we want to be sure that these drippers are emitting properly before we put our plants in. Remember we recommend four to six plants per luckle slab. We also want to monitor the temperature prior to planting. There are a lot of variables when it comes to temperature. If you're growing with 600 or 1000 watt bulbs, you may have to address temperature issues with additional cooling from an AC unit. Here you can see we like to use trellis netting to provide additional support. It is not included in the kit and if you wish to purchase it, please do separately.